I always wanted to create a SaaS product using AI and monetize it. And today, we're going to make that happen. I have this idea to build a platform where I can analyze my clients' resume and give them suggestions on how to make them better. To do this, we'll use a Mistral API, OpenAI API, and Next.js to develop the application. I won't be integrating Stripe for now, but you can add those later if necessary. Without any further ado, let's get this started. We'll start by creating our Next.js app using the command npx create next app at latest with the root folder as my directory. Next, let's focus on building the components. I'll be creating a components folder and inside that, I'll make a file name called resume analyzer app.tsx. In this component, we'll utilize the use state hook to manage various states such as show worth is loading resume and resume text. These states are crucial for controlling the application's flow and ensuring a seamless user experience. Next, we'll create a use completion hook to interact with the API endpoint at API slash resume. This hook will handle sending uploaded resume data to the backend for analysis and receiving the analysis results to display to the user. Finally, we'll create the show forth component which will handle conditional rendering. This feature ensures that either the resume uploader section or the resume worth section is displayed to the user at the appropriate time. We'll focus on creating the resume uploader component which plays a crucial role in uploading and processing the resumes. Its main function is to assist users in uploading their resume typically in PDF format. This component utilizes state management through hue state hooks to monitor key states such as upload errors, drag and drop interaction over the upload area and manages the upload loading state. One of the important features of Resume Uploader is its ability to pass the PDF files using the PDF.js disk library. This passing mechanism extracts textual content from the uploaded PDF resumes essentially for subsequent analysis. Additionally, the component supports the drag and drop functionality, enhancing user convenience by enabling them to drag and drop their resume files for upload. Next, we'll create the resume worth component, which is responsible for presenting the analysis result obtained from the uploaded resumes. Its main function is to extract and format the key information such as estimated worth, factors contributing to that worth, and suggestions for improvement from the resume for the pro, which contains the analysis data. This component utilizes regular expressions to extract specific data points and their structures. This information is then used for displaying to the user. It makes use of UI components such as cards, card header, card title, card description, and card content, and UL to organize and display analysis result in a visually appealing and understandable manner. One of its key features is its dynamic rendering of content where it generates lists based on extracted data. This ensures that the presentation adapts to the content of the analysis, providing users with a flexible and informative overview of the resume's worth and area for improvement. Next, we'll define the card component. Its primary role is to create visually consistent and structured layouts for displaying various types of content. By encapsulating styling properties such as rounded corners, borders, background colors, text colors, and shadow effects, the card component ensures a polished look throughout the app. An essential feature of the card component is its ability to forward any riff passed to it using the react.forward riff. This riff forward mechanism allows parent component to directly access and manipulate the underlying DOM element of the card, enabling functionalities like focusing on the card or implementing animations based on user interaction. Next, we'll create the CSS styling for resume analyzer, resume uploader, resume forth, and the home module. Additionally, we'll create two API routes, one for handling documents with OpenAI's GPT-4 model and another one for handling documents with Mistral's Lodge model. Starting with OpenAI, we'll define the post function in the application to handle the post request and facilitate interaction with OpenAI's natural language processing capabilities. This function uses the OpenAI's package to create an instance of OpenAI's API, enabling the application to generate AI driven responses based on given prompts. This integration is crucial as it allows the app to leverage the advantage of GPT-4 model for analyzing uploaded resumes and providing insights on estimated worth, key factors contributing to the assessment, and tips for the improvement. The function defines the structured prompt that specifies the expected input format, the analysis task, and the desired output format for the AI generated response. This prompt ensures that the AI model understands the context and requirements accurately, resulting in relevant and valuable insights for users. Additionally, the function efficiently handles streaming responses using streaming text response, which is beneficial for real-time applications or scenarios requiring rapid processing of large amount of text data. We'll set up the API route for the Mistral in the same way as for OpenAI. Since many users may not have access to GPT-4, we'll start with Mistral as a default option. 
That's why I'm putting it inside the resume folder. Later on, if you want to switch the default model as OpenAI, you can switch to OpenAI by changing the endpoint in the resume analyzer component. All right, let's run the app with npm run dev command and try uploading a sample resume. All right, that's great. If you want, you can add Stripe integration to monetize your work, but it's your choice. I'll stop here for now and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.